um, for Commander of the United States Cyber Command. If confirmed, you will be directly responsible for planning and executing U.S. global cyber operations activities and missions to defend our national interest across the full spectrum of competition and conflict in cyberspace. This includes DOD cyberspace operations, enhancing the offensive and defensive capabilities of the cyber mission force and improving the readiness of the nation's cyber personnel to counter malicious cyber actors in a changing digital domain. This hearing comes at a pivotal moment for defending cyberspace. General Nakasone, our nation's outgoing commander of Cyber Command, has said the growth in cyber warfare capabilities by our near-peer adversaries, like China, is unlike anything he has seen before. <clears throat> in recent months, we've seen an increase in ransomware attacks on critical infrastructure and aggressive cyber espionage operations on U.S. networks by our near-peer adversaries. Software vulnerabilities and weak network perimeter security have added to the nation's defensive challenges and threaten our strategic ability and decisive advantage in cyberspace. We must keep that decisive advantage. Advancements in technology such as artificial intelligence are also poised to change the pace of the threats we face. Given these challenges, the committee would like to learn how you plan to address the most pressing national security challenges facing our nation in cyberspace. Specifically, I'm interested in hearing what you would do to ensure cybercoms defend forward and persistent engagement strategies. Those strategies support a proactive military posture in cyberspace um, and remain capable of disrupting malicious cyber activity at its source and keep pace with an evolving threat. I'm uh, concerned that our cyber readiness may suffer because of cyber mission forces serving brief tours at Cybercom, and the chair uh, mentioned this in his statement. The services are providing personnel to Cybercom um, who lack necessary cyber skills, technical expertise, and training. I would welcome your views on how to correct readiness shortfalls within the cyber mission force, including how you would work with the services to align training across the department and increase the resi re resiliency of the cyber workforce. Strengthening partnerships across the government, the private sector, and among our allies is also key to defending our national interests in a constantly evolving threat environment. These include hunt forward operations in which cyber operators are deployed abroad to identify vulnerabilities and mal malware on the networks of partner nations. The Under Advisement Program, which creates a forum for threat information sharing with industry, is another example of Cyber Command's unique contributions to national security. These two initiatives exemplify how our cyber forces augment homeland and network defenses while also exposing adversary tactics before they can be used against us in the United States. I hope you'll speak about how you would prioritize partnerships to meet the growing complexity of challenges in the cyber domain. Uh, if confirmed, General, you would serve as the Chief of the Central Security Service and would take on a dual-headed role as Director of the National Security Agency. And so we'll be interested in hearing your perspective on the dual hat arrangement and how it impacts Cybercom's ability to fulfill its individual mission. So thank you very much, General, and thank you, Mr. Chairman.